Today is Friday, October 13th, Lucky Friday, and we are standing on the veranda looking out on number 18 with Mark Metzger, our Director of Grounds. So Mark, why don't you tell us how the growing is happening on the back nine? Uh, the back nine has come along great. Uh, they've uh, been, most of the fairways have been grown in for six or seven weeks now. Uh, the oldest fairway is about nine or ten weeks old, so the back nine is 90% grown in. We're starting to, I don't know if you can see behind me, but on my blog yesterday, you can see we're starting to define the short grass areas around the green. So if you see some brown cut lines around the greens on the back line, that's, what, uh, that's what's going on. But uh, yeah, it's going in nicely. We'll be ready to go. I heard there was a rumor on number 11 that the, the brown grass was because of water, but that's not the case. It's just the practice that you're doing. Yeah, we're just lowering the height of cut around the greens. Do you want to update the members on the fact that uh, the last of the sprigs went down last week, uh, last of the sods going down this week, and that sprigging date is about three weeks um, beyond schedule. So we're hoping for good weather uh, so that we can still open all 18 on December 1st. Uh, again, back nine's thrown in good, so worst case if we open just the back nine on December 1st. We need sunny days, and as you can see, at the moment, that's not occurring. So let's hope for good weather over the coming months. Um, QGS, the contractor for the golf course, is probably going to be on site for another month or so with a punch list item. Yes. Oh, yeah. And um, Mark, why don't you tell the membership a little bit about the timing of landscaping? I know that's been a big question. Well, we've started quite a bit of landscaping on the back time. We've uh, got some plants in on 12, 13, 14, and 15. Uh, and we'll continue to add to those. Uh, we'll head over to the front nine. Uh, I know two and seven on uh, some of the landscape islands will be doing that. We're waiting on another load of uh, table palms to go on three and four. And once those go in, we'll be able to design some bushes and some color around those holes too. So, but it's uh, really important for us to get the grass grown in and established. So there might be a lot of our landscaping that we'll be doing next summer after this season. Uh, once the golf course matures a little bit, we can actually pinpoint where everything is needed. Great. I um, also want to remind the membership how important it is to remind your guests, or if you have renters, to not go on the golf course. Uh, we're doing a lot of treatments on the golf course, from pesticides to fertilization, watering at different times of the day. So it's really important that everyone stays off the golf course. And we know our membership is going to stay off the course, but please remind your family and friends, wherever you may have as guests here in the community. Um, again, the schedule is getting a little bit tighter, as I said, with that de December 1st opening of the course. Uh, same thing with the Bistro, we're still shooting for the 1st of January, uh, but we remain on schedule and on budget. It just continues to get a, a little tighter as we get to the end. And uh, we'll end with some drone footage of the golf course, followed up with some photos and video of the Bistro.